What's up, Horror Horde? This is your boy, Horror Gamer, and welcome back to another episode of Dumpster Fire Cinema. And boy, does your boy, Horror Gamer, got a turn for you today. That's right. So, if y'all are new to the channel or new to the Dumpster Fire Cinema, basically, this series is... Your boy Horror Gamer watches the worst of the worst horror movies. You know, the really low budget ones that look like somebody filmed it with their iPhone 3 holding it with their wiener. And, is you know, them kind of movies, you know. And then letting you guys know the synapses and everything of the movies. And that way you guys don't have to put yourself through it. Your boy Horror Gamer watches the garbage so you don't have to. So with all that being said, man, does your boy Horror Gamer got a stinker for you today. Before we get into that, let's just crack up a cold drink. Ah, oh, take a sip because we're gonna need it. Holy fuck. <coughs> oh. Yeah. Oh boy. As you can tell from the title of this episode of Dumpster Fire Cinema, we're gonna be diving into the cornfields with. Sharks of the Corn. Guys, I can't even make this shit up. This movie is called Sharks of the Corn. And this movie is... Holy Christ. It is a mishmash of just ass juice. It's like... The movie's called Sharks of the Corn. Of the Corn. So it has that aspect of sharks in, in a cornfield. Then it has some kind of murder mystery cult doo-doo dumpster fire. And then it has a monster movie and the fact that Bigfoot, yes, Bigfoot makes a fucking appearance in this movie. So, it all starts, okay, so, do you guys remember a couple of videos ago where I did uh, the Dumpster Fire Cinema on um, uh, Fright Vision, Dr. Boobenstein, you know, you know what I'm saying? Well, she's in this movie and you get to see them chesticles, yo, what's up? Mm. Just the way God intended. But anyways, that's not here nor there. She gets her ass killed in the first 10 minutes of the movie. Her and her drunk-ass boyfriend are playing this game called Hide and Go Fuck or Hide and Go Naked or some fucking stupid shit. Basically, she's running in the cornfield and he's following her all fucking drunk up or, you know, whatever. And um, she's taking off clothes as she's going. And um, <laughs> she gets... She gets to the middle of the field and she sees this like scarecrow with a shark's head on. I don't fucking know. This, this movie was just all over the place. Well, anyway, the chase scene where she's being chased out of the cornfield by this shark was hilarious because she's going, oh no, oh, like flail her, oh god no. And then the fucking shark comes up, which is an obvious puppet. Like they don't even. The CGI, it is fucking terrible. But it's this giant, like, shark puppet, I guess, they made for the production of this movie. It only has one face where its mouth is just gaped open the whole time. There's no, like, nothing. And when it goes to attack somebody, it just... They just push it into the person. <laughs> it's fucking terrible. Well, anyway, she gets her ass chewed up like a chew toy. And, um... The police... Okay, so she gets attacked by a shark, but the police think that her boyfriend killed her. This is fucking stupid. Yes, this is this movie, guys. Anyways, <laughs> so later in the movie, um, it turns into this fucking crime drama thriller where this dude who's obsessed with sharks is uh, trying to summon the spirit of the shark goddess, and her name is Chi Chi Metal or Metal. <laughs> they actually came up with some stupid ass fucking name for this. I mean, they were really diving into this shit. They were really trying. I mean, this dude, oh my Christ. Well, he ends up killing a hooker. And he's, I guess he's taking her body to the cornfield as a sacrifice or whatever, some stupid shit. And he's driving. And then the female cop, like he drives past this female cop and she looks and she's like, well, that's interesting. And she chases him down or whatever. And dude, when I tell you, listen to me, look right here, right, right here. When I tell you <laughs> the body parts were so fucking fake 
first off, the severed head looked nothing like the stripper that they that he supposedly killed or the hooker or whatever. And she pulls and like you could actually see like the made in fucking China tags. Look, <laughs> it was horrible. It looked like they just sprayed a bunch of plastic uh, um, spirit of Halloween decorations with fucking <laughs> with fucking ketchup, and, and that was it. And then she pulls him over. He's wearing his his mask. Okay. His mask so he doesn't be seen is a fucking ski, an orange ski mask with a neck gaiter that has like a shark face on it. It's fucking stupid. Well, anyways, she pulls him out of the car and he's literally saying the worst possible shit like you could say to a female cop. You know, like, sit on my face, you fucking pig. Like, he's just going off. And then in the interrogation sequence later, she's like, I pulled you over for a traffic violation. Bitch, no, you didn't. You pulled him over because you said, hmm, that looks weird. Like, this movie was all fucking over the place, okay? And then she has to transport his ass to somewhere, and I guess he hypnotizes her. I don't know. This movie was so fucking hard to follow that she ends up becoming the ultimate sacrifice. And there's this undercover CIA agent trying to find the this little capsule with, like, a baby shark that's supposed to be, like, the, the sum of all the power or whatever. It's fucking stupid, man. And, and then... The fucking uh, deputy is sitting there eating popcorn. And he pulls out a fucking plastic shark and he's like, oh, well, there's sharks everywhere. I'm like, bro, bro, you are trying so fucking hard. And when I tell you there is this sequence that was the biggest budget of the movie and it was so fucking stupid. So the, C the undercover CIA agent buys this fucking thing from these... Uh, mobsters okay which one of the mobsters is like a six-year-old girl uh, so dumb well anyway he buys this fucking um uh shark whatever and <laughs> fucking he runs off and they're like oh he betrayed us so they're flying over the cornfield okay looking for him <laughs> and a fucking shark jumps out of the cornfield it hits the helicopter, and guys, guess what? The helicopter fucking explodes. No, nothing to ignite, no flame, no nothing. Just a shark hitting a helicopter, and poof, it explodes. Then that leads us to the end of this fucking godforsaken dumpster fire, where he ends up finishing the ritual, okay? And then Chi Chi Matal, you know? or whatever the fuck its name is, becomes humanoid. And he ends up turning into this, like, creature from the Black Lagoon, raped a piranha, and had a three-way with, like, a, 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 a wounded seal or whatever. And this is what this dude looks like. And as she turns into Chi Chi Matal, which is, like, she's standing there with, like, this crown and fucking, like, she has, like, the face of a shark. And here's where the movie gets fucking retarded. <sighs> okay. So, they're shooting them with the guns. A CIA agent and um, the guy from the beginning's brother who is a real estate agent. I don't know how he came into play, really. He he had this thing where, oh, you know, come here and buy land and, you know, look for Bigfoot or whatever, blah, blah, blah. And then, and then they're shooting them with guns and all of a sudden they can't kill him. Fucking Bigfoot comes out of the corn, guys, with a rock and hits my dudes on the head, okay? He hits them on the head and kills them. That's how um, the serial killer turned wounded rape seal, whatever. That's how he dies. And then, you know how Chi Chi Matal dies? I cannot even make this up. The CI agent has a grenade and he runs up and he's like, Grenade, bitch! And... Th and throws it in her crown. And she's sitting there, you know, horribly acting, trying to get it out of her head. And then it blows the fuck up. And it just blows her head up, okay? But they do a sky view of it. And it's this huge explosion. And then they go back and it's just her head that's missing. Because, you know, in what world would a grenade blowing up on you would not just eviscerate your body, just your head? You know what I'm saying? So the CG in this movie was fucking terrible. The acting was horrific. The kills were fucking so oh god. Guys, I knew starting this series that I wasn't going to watch the best of movies, but holy 
shit. I didn't realize that there was turds like this out there. Like, this is what was bad. You know, Tickles the Clown was bad, but at least that was only an hour and 14 minutes. This flaming hot dumpster fire turd diarrhea was fucking an hour and 45 minutes. Bro, this was as long as a Hollywood blockbuster of just trash. So, yeah, with all that out of the way, your boy Horror Game is going to give this five. That's right, five dumpster fires out of five. Boy, this was bad. This one was a tough one to get through. Whew, I don't think there's enough weed and alcohol on this planet to watch that shit again. Whew, uh, but anyways, guys, your boy horror gamer watches the garbage, so you don't have to. But all right, horror horror. With all that being said, I love you guys. Thank you guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it for you, minus the watching of the movie part. Um, and don't forget, if you haven't done so, hit that subscribe button along with that dingly ding ding button. That way, every time your boy horror gamer throws up one of these dumpster fire cinemas, you're in the know. You need to be in the know. Because if I'm doing the fucking legwork here, grrr, no, I'm just kidding. But anyways, guys, with all that being said, I love you guys. Thank you guys. Don't forget, though, definitely go down to the description, hit that Twitch link, and go over to your boy horror gamer's Twitch, and watch him play some video games and just have a good time and just talk with him. And let's just be happy you know but no nah, i'm just kidding all right but no definitely go over and check out that twitch though i'm not kidding about that but anyways all right guys all that being said i love you guys thank you guys until next time this is your boy horror gamer saying as always don't fear the darkness embrace it fucking chi chi matal tell you what these people come up with all right i'm out <laughs>